If they ever make a Scouse version of Charlie's Angels. Ladies and gentlemen, Atomic Kitten. Well, hello. Hi, uh, hello. Oh, you're looking great. Thank you. So, you can't tell where one kitten stops and the other one starts. <laughs> that's 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 a, we do that on papers. Yeah, and I like your sl low slung poppy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is still, it's still a bit of a, a bit of a bump down there. <gasps> you cheeky bastard! Can't you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Can we start Man, this again, please? You've got no compliments <laughs> at all. No, well, I, you know, well, you, don't start with us. A lot of you. <laughs> that's it. They're off. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of your pop stars now—they go on some starvation diet after they've had a baby, and Not I just me. wondered if you Weight Watchers. Right. Yeah. Um, that's it, really. Okay. <laughs> you upset now? No. I am. <laughs> You're trouble. I can see that from the start. You can always pick out the one in a gang who's trouble. <laughs> that's the one to hit first, I find. <laughs> Frank, I've got an excuse for my little bit of flab. You haven't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true you sold your ass for a thousand pounds? It was a cast of my bottom and it was well, a breast cancer. Well, basically the that. same thing. <laughs> it's a question I've always wanted to ask a guest. Are you the mystery it. buyer who bought it? No, do you know who bought it? No. Okay, I should explain that uh, Jenny had a mould done of her bottom. For charity. For breast cancer. Yeah, it so it's a good, it was a good cause. And it, it got the highest anything else at that auction, I think it won, didn't it? Yeah, but it wasn't a competition, it wasn't. I didn't win. You must have been slightly pleased that you got more. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> How did they do the moulding? I was really embarrassed. I had to stand in my kitchen with this man I've never met before to slap in plaster and my arsby boyfriend thought he was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't know who bought it? No. I don't want it, no, I don't think. Oh, well, it, I, I, it might not have been bought for sordid reasons. I hope it wasn't, but I don't... I, I'm just glad they bought it anyway. Yeah. Now, um, that, was, that was your new single, yes. which is a, a, a double A side. Yes, it is. Now, what is a double A side? It means you get two songs for the price of one. Bargain. <laughs> <laughs> but what will the radio stations be playing? It means that they, whichever one they want to play, so it suits like all dance stations and the sort of more relaxed ones, so, because the other ones are a full-on disco song. Right. Now, being in a pop band, Obviously, you have responsibilities that, like, a rock band wouldn't have you, about your behaviour and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, do you ever get a bit rock and roll? Have you ever smashed up a hotel room? I've actually got a bit of a funny story there. Um, we were in Asia and we were there for about six weeks and I just got, like, Tash wasn't well and it was just... I really miss home and that. So, um, I just basically trashed my hotel room, like, totally and utterly. <laughs> just really, like, trashed it. Paintings on the floor, everything, yeah. telly on the floor, and then... Thought I'd get into trouble, so I tidied it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> now I read, um, Jenny, oh. that you <laughs> that you sometimes um, moon at the tour bus window. I actually have never done that. I think it was you actually. It was. Oh, her, it was. Stay. No, we were in the car, and there were this, we were in the van. And there's a car behind us, and there's this lad in the car, and his girlfriend was just being rude. She was just being like, give us pure dags out the window. She sat there being well, all cocky. I wouldn't cocky. be surprised because she sat next to a boyfriend who's given, given like three girls in the van next to him. Why did you move him then? Just to annoy her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what did you do? Him. You stuck your bum the out the window. Out the window. But well, she had a, she didn't pull her Not knickers fully. down. She's had a g-string on, so oh. she wasn't like chocolate star or anything. <laughs> <laughs> The last thing you want on the tour bus window is a smear. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've learnt about is that pop bands do these things called school tours. Yeah. Which I, I had no idea that they existed. Can you just give us a brief explanation of what a school tour is? You tour around schools. 
<laughs> anyway, moving on. No, but some people have a um, bit of a problem with it. You know, I, like there was a couple of stories in the paper when we did it, and for other bands as well, saying you know that it's trying to brainwash kids, but it's not. It's like you know, we loved it. I had it when I was in school, and it was like you know, I think we had Peter Andre or someone. We were all like that. <laughs> oh, we're it's especially when he took his shirt off. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of age are we talking about? Well, it, you do Infants. infant school to juniors to senior schools, and even like upper sixth form, college kind of things. And the boys' sixth form is a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> and did you ever get nits? <laughs> <laughs> no, we never got nits, but um, the kids seemed to like setting the fire alarms off in mid-song, so we'd have to all evacuate and, and we'd be stood in the schoolyard with all these kids like that. <laughs> yeah. And how, how long would you do? Four songs, something like that, usually, yeah? Yeah, and it lasted about four weeks, but then you'd probably fit in, like, three schools in a day. Right. God, it was hard work. It was very hard work. Respect, I tell you. I, I wouldn't do it. I don't know if my act would really work. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, let me get this sorted then. So, you are, you've got a ten-week-old baby now, ten. Tash. Yeah. And uh, your boyfriend uh, runs a club, is that right, in London? Yeah. Do, do they play Atomic Kitten at his club? No. They'll play the new one, though, Be With You. The new dance tune they'll play, but our, our songs are too poppy for any club, really, I think. Every now and then you go home to Liverpool and just to make you feel really embarrassed, they'll stick on your song and everyone will look and go. <laughs> Jenny, you're engaged to a, a DJ, aren't you? Yeah. So does he play your stuff? He's actually never played one of our songs, but he said he will play Be With You. He's just got it on a 12-inch and he's looking forward to playing it. Yeah. So you're single, is that right, Liz? Yeah. Now, I read a thing with you when you said it, it's, it's harder to get a bloke when you're a famous pop star than when you're just an ordinary girl in Liverpool. Ah, uh, it's harder to have a serious relationship when you're a pop star. I mean, I'm sure if you were into that kind of thing, you could get blokes left, right and centre, but mm. I'm not really into that. See, I think they'd perhaps be a bit frightened. Of us? Yeah, because I think... No, we do. I do believe we scare a lot of men. Because you're famous or because no, you're... No, just because we're a bit <laughs> loud and we're yeah. outspoken and, you know, what we say goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're an Everton fan, aren't you, Liz? Yes, yeah, not her fault. Do you go? I do. So what do you make of their new wonder kid, Wayne Rooney? Because Everton fans now, they really think this guy's going to be a major superstar. He probably will, but they're putting a lot of pressure on him. They should just leave the boy alone and let him get on with it. He's only young. <laughs> well, you know, put a pressure like what? They're all making it. It's all really putting loads of pressure on him. saying he's going to do this and he's going to do that. Just leave him alone to develop and become the great player he probably will do. What, not but, mention him? No, we're not every but day. He scored papers. against Arsenal. Well, never you no, mind. But... <laughs> <laughs> I saw a programme on him the other day. I watched a programme on him and they were really just. It's just like really lots of pressure on him. Poor lad's going to be pulling his hair out if he had a knee. Yeah. Well, what a shame. Poor old 17 year old football superstar Wayne Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he is, he is what we need, definitely. You should go out with him. That'd be perfect. He's well, about 16, 17. He's 17. Well, how old are you? 21. Oh, wow. You're from the girl. That's all right. You can have, you can have older... No. Uh, it'd be perfect. You're an Everton fan. You'd be going out with us. You'd be like the new Posh and Bex, but like a Scouse no, version. No, thank you. I bet if he phoned up and said, you want to go out for a date, you'd be there. Am I right? No. If he said, hey, Lizzie, <laughs> grab your coats. <laughs> grab your coats. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I read that you fancy Prince William. Yeah, cool. How can anybody... You don't fancy Wayne Rooney, who's a brilliant football, but you fancy posh old Prince William. He's not posh. He is posh, but he's Prince lovely. William is not posh. <laughs> He's not like the oh yarn or like. No, just, he is quite... posh, but he's not snotty. He's lovely. He's mm. a he's a he's a charmer. You know him there, do you? You've met well, him. Well, we spoke yeah. to him a couple of times. He's really nice. Yeah, but he's going to be nice to you, isn't he? <laughs> we know what he's got in mind. Back at the palace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all three. I imagine him telling that only yes and I had all three of the. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> Honestly, I, see, I, I'm, I'm slightly um, 
I'm sort of snobby the other way around and often don't like the look of posh people. <laughs> but you're telling me he's actually all right? He is lovely. I don't think he's good looking, I really don't. He's got that kind it's of... He's very tall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it's just the way you like the posh kids, like, off really rosy cheeks. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. I think it's because they drink. Why <laughs> <laughs> not be a rosy nose? Oh, yeah. I don't think they've got that much money, they have the central eating really <laughs> wacky. <laughs> Put another bar on. <laughs> Put another bar on the electric fire. Come on. <laughs> well, I say, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We've got a picture of you and Prince Charles. Oh, right? no. Yeah. This is Atomic Kit. Now, look, Prince Charles, look at the central heating. <laughs> He's obviously lost something in the blast furnace and been looking in there. Can we just say, that picture was on the front page of every newspaper worldwide. Now, when you're in the public eye, you, you, if that's going to happen, you'd want a really lovely picture. No, but no, was. double chins! <laughs> well, and he was, I suppose he was lovely as well. He actually he was. was, I think. I think we scared him a bit, though. Just yeah, sort of pinned that? a t-shirt on him and spun him round to the cameras. The, very best, the best bit of that day, though, was when we, we were all sat together um, uh, open the like the world sort of box kind of thing like for you. party in the park and Destiny's Child were on stage so we turned around and we were like come on do this do this Prince Charles like that. <laughs> you know when they sing throw your hands up at me and everyone goes like that so we're like that yeah and he went oh like this <laughs> <laughs> and then he stood up and he went I prefer this one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a really good one <laughs> it was Oh, God. Did you actually call him Prince Charles? Did I you say that? I think at one point, we actually, we called him Charlie, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> you never called him Charlie. Well, he sent us a letter afterwards to say thank you for, like, helping out the Prince's Trust and that. And the bottom was like, Charlie. We were like, you know. He signed it Charlie, didn't yeah. he? Fantastic. Ah, oh, perhaps he's all right after all. <laughs> so, um, we got a picture, actually, of um, Prince William at one of your gigs. <laughs> No, that was but, the Jubilee. Yeah. He, so, why is he doing that? I thought he was a fan of yours. That was when um, someone else was on stage and I was... Yeah, was right. It? It, no, actually... <laughs> that is a good-looking bloke, in your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like he's had his head handsome. thatched. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably just wearing that. The, it's the brothers. And he says, you can wear it for now, but stop messing about. It. They're behind. Oh, it's not the brother. That'd be his uncle, wouldn't it? Oh, they're all... It's all into bread. <laughs> They're all basically the same person, just in parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck Thank you. Um, with everything, and uh, it was great talking to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Atomic Kitten. <laughs> well, anyway, there's really only one song we can do tonight. Stick together. I'm telling you from the start, I can't be torn apart from my guy. As a matter of opinion, I think he's tops. My opinion is he's the cream of the crop. As a matter of taste, to be exact. Right, can somebody drop me at Westminster Bridge?